But we begin tonight with the breaking news out of Pontiac as a little girl is fighting for her life. Good evening and welcome to 7 Action News at 11. I'm Carolyn Clifford. The seven year old was simply sitting in a car when a drive by shooter came along and opened fire. The shots rang out at Wilson and Edmond, not far from Woodward Avenue. 7 Action News reporter Nana St. Jubonsu is there with the breaking developments for us. This is a very active investigation with so many questions and we're working to find those answers right now. We're working to find out the condition of the seven year old girl and what led to this terrifying shooting here in Pontiac. But the one thing that we can confirm is that the young girl was sitting in a car during the time of the shooting. Part of Wilson Avenue in Edmond Court blocked off in yellow caution tape as Oakland County deputies put the pieces together. Community leader and gun violence advocate Raheem Harris was on the scene moments after the shooting. The scene was, it was sad. The scene are taped off, gun shells everywhere. And then you see seven little kids walking up out of house and one kid getting shot. That's a sad scene. We're told a seven year old girl was sitting in this white Saturn that you see investigators looking inside of with a flashlight. The sheriff's office says the young girl was sitting in the back seat when she was shot in the head. This gun violence that's going on in our city is at an all time high and with the community, we all need to come together and bring awareness to this gun violence because things like this happen when the guns get into the wrong hands. Through his nonprofit organization, Pontiac Universal Crimes, he's hoping he can bring awareness and education and encourage people to put the guns down. But it starts at home with our people talking to our kids because our parents, the parents know what the young kids are out here doing. We are told the seven year old was taken to a local hospital and the latest update is she's in critical condition. At the moment, specific details on the shooting are unclear. Now we are in contact with the sheriff's office and whenever we get some information or additional details, we'll update you here and online. I'm Nana Santio Bonsu for 7 Action News. Certainly.